I'm just going to read part of this. Aquinas, angelic doctor of the church. Muhammad seduced the people by promises of carnal pleasure to which the concupiscence of the flesh urges us. His teachings contained precepts in conformity with his promises, and he gave free reign to carnal pleasure. In, the, in all of this, he was obeyed by carnal men. For proofs of the truth of his doctrine, he brought forward only such as could be grasped by natural ability of anyone with the most modest wisdom. Indeed, the truths that he taught, he mingled with many fables and with doctrines of the greatest falsity. This is Thomas Aquinas. This is in me. He did not bring forth any signs produced in a supernatural way, which alone fittingly gives witness to the divine inspiration. On the contrary, Muhammad said that he was sent by the power of his arms. In other words, the sword, which, he, which are signs not lacking even among tyrants and robbers. What is more, no wise men, men trained in things divine or human, believed in him from the beginning. Those who believed in him were brutal men and desert wanderers, utterly ignorant of all divine teaching, through whose numbers Muhammad forced others to become his followers by the violence of the sword. Preceding prophets offer him no witness. So in other words, no prophets ever gave him witness. On the contrary, he perverts almost all the testimony of the Old and New Testaments by making them into a fabrication of his own, and he can be seen by anyone who examines his law. It was therefore a shrewd decision on his part to forbid his followers to ever read the Old or New Testaments, lest these books convince him them of his falsity. It is thus clear that those who place faith in his words believe foolishly. Summa Contra Gentiles, book one, chapter six. I didn't say that. I only quoted. Why don't we ever hear this taught? Why are we always taught that they are like us? We're imposing our perspective on them. They're like us. They have the same views. They have the same spirituality. They have the same... Why don't we hear about this? This is what I'm saying. I hope I spark something today. I hope that... I know it's not a pleasant talk. I didn't come to give a pleasant talk today. All the other ones I did. This one I didn't. I wanted to... This was a warning talk. I have a quote here, too, from my best friend in Israel, but I'm not going to read all of that, but he can, just confirms everything, and he says, and they have the audacity to call their religion equal among the monotheistic religions. This is my friend who's a kind of a Bible scholar, and uh, anyway, so Muslims worship their God out of fear, and it's all very carnal. Christians are very much the opposite. 